Uh, hello everybody, my loyal viewers and those of you who are not familiar with my channel. Look at that, an older Dodge uh, Dakota with a plow. I don't see that too often. Usually you see the heavy trucks as plows. Might as well be this fucking Ford that's waiting for me to pass there. Ford, uh, a Ford, I don't give a fuck what it's called. That is my friends, is a Ford. That is a nice whole fucking van. Look at that. I have this bad feeling I filmed this truck before, but I think I did film it, but passing by me. What oh, tabarnak, this must belong to the same guy. Look, it's a fucking Winnebago Lacharo. Which, not too long ago, in the warmer months, there were actually two of these in my neighborhood in Hochelaga. Hochelaga. La, 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 well, la municipality de Van. <laughs> oh, this one is ugly, though. Jesus, it looks ugly. It looks very European compared to the Econoline here, which is... Very American. And she's a beauty. Even though she's dirty, she's a beauty. You know? Nice, uh, nice blue striping all over. You know? I got one of those hubcaps, by the way, if somebody needs one. Sell it cheap. And, uh, it's kind of funny that this thing hasn't moved much, eh? Got all that snow on it. Got a running board, chrome mirrors. This is a nice deluxe truck. I would fucking go off across the country with something like this, you know? Yeah. Funny though, there's a cap missing here for some reason. I don't know why. That's weird. That's strange. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's funny the cover on the uh the wheel cover, the cover right there is crooked because the plate is crooked. See, I could look underneath this thing, but there's no point because I know it's clean. These, these vehicles are not usually driven in the winter, you know? And this model, I couldn't even tell you what year this thing was made in. 80s up to 91, I guess. 92. You know? Yeah, nice. Fuck, it even has power windows. Oh, that's cool. What a beautiful old school blue. There's what doghouse there is what people call it. I only learned that recently, the part that covers up part of the motor there. You know, and uh, that's not much to it there. I'm just going to give you a little side view. You know. And that's it, folks. That's it, boys and girls. I'm going to keep uh, meandering here in the Verdun borough of Montreal. I was born and raised, well, I wasn't born and raised in Verdun, but I was born and raised in Montreal. Hey, look at that entrance there, this old building. How beautiful that is. You know what? Yeah, I know why that van is there in that fucking uh, Lachero. I think the same guy probably had a Dodge van I took a picture of right there in that entrance. It was red. It was a 79 to about 85. Same type of van that, uh, uh, B-150. Same type of van that my dad drove for Bell Canada for so many years until, of course, he got the uh, the uh, minivan there. I think it was a Voyager, I guess, or a fucking Dodge Caravan, whichever. Funny thing about that, I think you guys will find that amusing. It was one time he gave me a ride, which, of course, he wasn't allowed to. People aren't allowed to ride in, you know, um, uh, company trucks. Oh, there's the bus I was waiting for, and it's scrap. No, actually, I was waiting for the 107. But anyway, the thing that struck me the most about uh, my father's... Uh, uh, minivan, that bell truck, because he was a technician, you know. Ooh, nice color, beautiful. Was that, uh, there was no fucking, there was no FM on the radio, it was only AM radio. Can you believe that? Jesus Christ. AM was still strong, though, in the 80s compared to today. You turn on AM, you're lucky if you fucking hear music, for Christ's sake. Anyway, yours truly. I'm wishing you a very uh, fun uh, farewell. Just kidding. Have a good night, morning, afternoon, whatever. Wanza. Bye-bye.